It's the end of the world as we know it. Crazy. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are picking up right where we left off, uh, and we're going to explore the Dune Desert. This is the last biome that we have not yet explored in this playthrough, and uh, it does look to me, too, like it's it's changed since Update 4, which was the last time I was actually in this biome doing anything in it. So, yeah, should be fun. Um, and to start off, we have a hard drive uh, directly in front of us. So let's go ahead and hop down there. We're going to have some fart rocks to kill. We've got a blue slug down there as well. After I left you guys in the last episode, I uh, set up a craft bench and, and just consolidated all the bug parts and um, alien parts and the slugs into a total of, here we go, 41 power shards. Uh, so that's cool. All right. And we're going to have some bad bads down here too. So let's get out our exploding rebar and get rid of the fart rocks first. There's some batteries and radio control units and heavy modular frames. That's all pretty valuable stuff down there. Uh, uh, yeah, let's get that one too. Why not? Okay, um, do we have any hostiles down here? I don't think so. I think it was just the poison that was the hostile stuff. All right, I am... How many batteries is this? 43, yeah, let's pick those up. Let's pick up the radio control units because those things are a pain in the ass to make as are heavy modular frames. Well, I guess we didn't need the normal modular that's all right. Grab these. And I think that's it. Oh, I guess there was a hog down here. We must have killed it with the explosives. Uh, we don't need the wire or the normal reinforced plate. Okay, so where's the drive? Oh, it's over here. Nothing. Requires nothing. Great. Oh, you know what? That reminds me, too. We have another uh, recipe to look at. Okay. I've looked at all of these. Alternate turbo fuel blend. I mean, this... Okay, so this generates 45 per minute. And it requires petroleum, coke, sulfur... Heavy oil residue and fuel. I don't see the point in making this at all, especially if these beacons are are being um, discontinued in 1.0 anyway. Um, and I don't see really the point in this either because you only need these on occasion and they're very easy to hand to craft. Let's look at turbo fuel, uh, what we currently have. So we, this is. This is the best recipe that we have because it uses uh, it uses heavy oil residue and compacted coal for 30 per minute. So it only requires two inputs. This other one requires four for 15 more per minute. Yeah, I'm not not a fan. I'm gonna gonna say I'm not a fan. So we're gonna re-roll this. I know we're probably getting close to maxing out on all the alternate recipes. And you guys did tell me in the comments that there's more hard drives in the game than there are recipes. So I suppose we could just start taking them um, to just eliminate them if, if for no other reason. Okay, it looks like there's some uranium down that way. So let's go over here and get this blue slug. Is 
Is it just him? Guess so. These are interesting looking plants, trees. Got that little bulbous thing on them. Almost looks like a, a clay pot or something. Very interesting. We have 149 exploding rebars left. Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Yeah, yeah, right. Let's get this gun out here. Come on, get up there. There we go. Okay, before we go that direction, I wanna just wanna kinda see what's down over here. Looks like it goes down to the water. Another blue slug way down there. That is really cool looking across the way there. Yellow slug, fart plants, or rocks, fart rocks, plants, and then I guess that just goes down to the coast. We got a yellow slug over here too. Well, let's go down and grab this, and then we'll come back up. Oh, look, there's a drive over there, too, so already worth the worthwhile coming down here. So I did see that new video the coffee stain just put out about the uh, quantum manufacturing or something like that. And it looks like we'll be able to actually automate the creation of power shards, which is really neat. Among other things, they showed a lot of interesting stuff in that video. I'm just trying to take a look-see and see if there's anything up that way that we might be interested in. Hard drive in particular. Those guys are just guarding, gar guarding, guarding a Mercer sphere, so we don't really need to worry about that. There's a blue slug over there. Let's go, uh, let's just actually go along the coast this way a little bit. The water gets kind of weird right here. You know what would be fun is if we had survival elements in this game too, like, you know, eating, drinking, that kind of thing. I know that's not really the main point of the game, but... The world is so well suited for that sort of thing that it would blend in pretty nicely, I think, for people who wanted to add extra survival, you know, to the overall experience, like me. You could make foods that gave you certain buffs, like, you know, being able to craft faster or something like that. I don't know. Just an idea. Alright, so once you get over here, I think this wraps around and goes back into the swamp biome. It's like an underground waterfall or something over there? Oh, 
Oh, that's really weird, man. Whoa. That's like falling down into the abyss. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. I don't think that would be good for our health. So yeah, that wraps around and just goes... Uh... Weird. Back to that, to the swamp biome. Okay, let's move this direction. And we'll go do th get this hard drive out here. I know there was a, a blue slug over there, but I'm not I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Okay, I don't see any bad bats over there, but that doesn't mean they're not there. They could just be out of render distance. Ah, yeah, of course. Guess those are frost. Plasma spreaders. Oh, look at that. He's got horns on him. I've never noticed that before. What do we have here? We've got high-speed connectors. We'll definitely pick those up. We'll do the heavy modulars. We're not going to do the other stuff, though. And what do you want? Motors. Tin, to be precise. Super. All right, I guess there's no reason to go up there then. We have some kind of a node here. It looks like it might be iron. Pure iron. Where you at? got a copper node that way and it is a normal we'll just keep working our way along the beach for now then we'll go back up on the plateau later okay we got a coal node with a big one big and two little hogs two coal nodes Let's see what they are. An impure and an impure. There's a normal and a pure further up the beach. A lot of this stuff is going to change, though, in 1.0, so I'm not really going to concern myself too much with trying to remember that that stuff's there. I like the music in this biome, too. It's different than the other ones. Ooh, is that a cave up there? It is. Mam research is complete. Okay, this is... N this stuff is new. Um, that produces 27 and a half per minute and requires rubber and quick wire. The normal recipe produces... I don't remember. Let's look. 30 per minute and we have one that does 100 per minute so yeah uh not not a fan of that one this one however 
requires five heat sinks. Well, let's look at the normal recipe first. So the normal one uses two heat sinks, two rubber, water, and 25 nitrogen. Five heat sinks, one motor, and 24 nitrogen to make 3.75 per minute. What does the normal one make per minute? Six per minute. I mean, water's in inconsequential, especially where our base is. Um, so it's a matter of either doing rubber or doing motors. But this is also less heat sinks. The other one is five heat sinks and only makes two to whatever it is. This is still the better recipe, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that one only makes three, seven, five per minute. Okay, what about this one? The normal recipe... I guess we have two recipes already for this. The normal one requires computers. I mean, these two things alone are their own pain in the ass to make. Um, this one is rubber and circuit boards, which is a little bit better than computers by themselves and does four and a half per minute. Okay, let's look at this one again. Heat sinks, high-speed connectors. Yeah, you know what? This one's not too bad, actually. I think I'll. I think we're gonna take this one. Three point seven five per minute. That one wasn't too bad. So it makes a little, a little less than this one, but not quite so bad to make because heat sinks uh, themselves aren't that bad they're only, they only require two inputs quartz crystal super easy this is no more of a pain in the ass than these so yeah i like that i, I like that recipe i think that's a good one and that's also better than the default one because it makes more it doesn't require computers so we did good let's continue on here Uh, yeah, I want to go investigate this, see if this is a cave. It sure looks like one from here. It certainly is, and that means there's probably spiders in here. So let's get this weapon out. Oh, well, that's not much of a cave. Maybe it's just intended to be a passage. You know, to get up topside as opposed to a cave with resources. There's a drive. Let's get back up to the top of this plateau because um, we did see that Harvest. that yellow slug over back over. Well, I guess it was back over that way now. We went a little further down the coast than I, th I thought we had. That's right. Let's go. Let's get that hard drive up there. And maybe we'll just kind of keep exploring along the coast until we get as far north as we can and then wrap back around and come back down inland or something to that effect. I thought he, I thought he was down. you to harvest this artifact. No, it doesn't. Don't lie to me. All right. Let's see if we can get up here.
There's a heat sink right there. Or seven. I hear more footsteps. Down there. He's, uh, oh, he's guarding the yellow slug. Okay. Um, can we hit him from here? The problem is, though, is our, our spread gets too, too bad. So th this is definitely a mid to close range weapon for that reason. All right. Oh, supercomputers. Yeah, we'll definitely pick those up. Yeah, I guess we'll pick up normal computers. We are going to run out of room here, though. Okay, what do you need? More motors. Wow, that's a lot of motors. Holy shit. Okay. Let's get rid of that stuff. We have four more slots. It's just that, you know, when you're hard drive hunting like this, you never know what what the, the hard drive thing is going to want and how much of it it's going to want. So you kind of have to take some of everything, which doesn't leave us a lot of room left. All right. While we're up high here, we got a blue slug down that way. We don't see anything up along that ridge. I don't think we'll go out of our way for blue slugs, but we will get this yellow slug down here. There's some sulfur over that way. I'm just curious as to what its purity level is. Pure. Nice. Okay. That is good to know. All right, let's deal with this good. Well, I guess we softened him up. Limestone. What's he guarding over there? I don't see anything up there. I don't know. Looks like copper over that way, iron down there, limestone. There's a lot of resources over here. Yellow slug maybe way over there. I think those are the copper nodes we scanned earlier. There was two normals and a pure, I believe. Okay. Again, let's kind of stay more towards the coast for now. really isn't a shore at all along here. So it kind of ends right there. Interesting. Man, I'll tell you what. The jetpack with liquid biofuel is the way to travel. It's like I said earlier, man, why even bother with the Explorer? There's what I think is a blue slug up on top of that cliff. Oh, no, it's a purple. Even better. 
Do I have room for a purple slug? Yeah. I'm going to have to stop and turn all of these into more shards here in a bit. All right, there's a blue down there. We'll probably just leave it where it is. It's a little pond, almost like lagoon area over there. Then we have some more beach. What's making that noise? Is there a geyser going off or something? Or is that like just background noise like wind and stuff? Could be. I don't remember hearing that before. Okay. Looks like that's where maybe the end of the map. We got water falling off into the abyss. That's, I think think iron down there, or maybe it's bauxite. Oh no, that is that catarium? Let's find out. I believe it's catarium. And pure at that. Very nice. All right, let's go this way. I wonder if one could even get over that way. Thing is, is if we start getting... If, if we go beyond the border of the map, we start losing health, so... Yeah, not good. Let's look at the map. Oh, yeah, we are right on the border. And that would maybe appear to be an abyss under the water. That triangular thing. Like, is it the Bermuda Triangle? Whoops. Over here. I don't know. Mysterious. Okay, let's see if we can get over to here. It's the end of the world as we know it. Crazy. Okay. Well, let's go back up then. And we got a big coal node right here. Impure. With a couple of big hogs. Uh, no, those are little hogs. Those aren't big hogs. Normal. That goes down into no man's land.
And I see a hard drive way down there. Okay, we got a big hog. What's on the ground? I don't I don't see anything on the ground for loot. Huh. That's odd. It just goes off into the void. What do you need? Nothing. I like free, that's a good price. Maybe they gave it to us for free because they don't have any other loot around here. That's unusual, though. There's usually, you know, stuff around here. I guess these are just intended to be crashed. I mean, this little pod thing here, or shuttle, or whatever you want to call it, is the same shuttle, I believe, that takes off from our hub when we send stuff up to fix it. So I guess those were just hubs maybe from other... Pioneers in the past and they crashed or something? I don't know. I wonder what the lore is behind that. Interesting little shelter here. This looks like the kind of place where they could hide something. I'm not seeing anything. Let's go back up topside. A lot of wide open space here. And I'm hearing that noise again, so I think that's just kind of like wind background noise. see some green foliage over there and we got quartz and a cave huh it's a hard drive way up that way Change to our cluster ammo in case there are spiders in here. Guess it's just that one spitter and the Mercer sphere. All right, fair enough. There's a geyser.
looks like it's water. Sure is. I wonder um I wonder how much water you can get out of those. I've never used those before. Out of curiosity, do I have everything I would need to make a uh, resource well pressurizer? I don't. I'm missing encased beams. I just, uh, and I don't have enough motors either. I just wanted to pull one down just to see what kind of water you could potentially get out of that. But, oh well. I can always look it up too. But... Because, you know, desert and all, uh, that would be a good place for water if you didn't want to pump it all the way up from the ocean or something. That'd be a fair distance. Fair distance to travel. So this is just a big, wide, open, barren desert. Let's go get this drive over here. I don't see really any resources down below here. You need 50 megawatts. Oh, there's some resources. Just screws, though. Okay, let's see. What do we want? We want you and you. Do I have any... I don't have any wood. Alright, let's just put hatchers in each one of these. the seven drives. I see more product down below there, but nothing, nothing high level. That's just a normal modular frame. Oh, that's weird. We got floaties. Okay, I haven't forgotten that there is a hard drive way over there. We will go get that. Can you get all the way up here? Or is that too steep? Yeah, it looks like you can. Alright, um... So I don't see any drives out in the this deep desert part. Uh, but there's still a lot of territory back over that way we can explore too. Hey, cut that out. He made me do it. You too. If you guys would just live and let live. But no, you gotta mess with me. Any hoozle. Okay, so. Let's go. 
Let's save that area for later. I want to kind of go back this way. Because uh, there might be another drive over there. I can't tell for sure. Interesting rock formation if there if nothing else. Can we stand on this? Yeah. Oh well, we could for a little while. Yeah, okay. Nothing down there. Is that really a thing? Okay, let's go check out this oasis. Got some plasma spitters there. And a big guy out here. Actually, that big guy will probably probably won't mess with us. This is kind of pretty in here. Oh well, so much for the big guy not messing with us, eh? Water's a little, water animation's a little jank, but it's kind of a neat looking oasis though. There's a crater down here with quite a few resources. Looks like they're iron, even a tiny bit of water. I wonder if that water would be enough to put a water extractor in. Uh, yep, it would be. You'd only probably only be able to get one in there though, but hey, 120 water per minute without overclocking. Okay, so we already came along there. Don't really see anything too terribly interesting that way. Let's go over by this dead titan tree. It's interesting that there's a just a lone titan tree out here. You didn't do a very good job guarding your thing there, man.
Last time we were up here, there was like six or seven blue slugs on the dead titan, but I'm not seeing that on here. That's a decent amount of water. Oh, there's a hard drive. Okay, cool. Seventy megawatts. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're going to need to set up th three of these. And we have plenty of biomass to load them up with. So you can have leaves, you can have flowers, and you can have wood. to eight drives. Whoops. Okay, alternate turbo or uh, turbo electric motor. Um, an alternate infused uranium cell. We don't care about the, the wiring. So, okay, let's look at this. So this does 20 per minute and it takes uran five uranium, silica, sulfur, and quick wire. The normal recipe does 25 per minute, requires five. 10 uranium, concrete, and sulfuric acid, which itself can be made from just water and sulfur. And actually is does sulfuric acid as a byproduct, which can then in turn be used to make batteries. Hmm. So 25 per minute. Okay. This one, the nice thing about this one is it doesn't have a byproduct though. So you don't have to deal with it at 20 per minute. So that doesn't, I, I mean, I have, have no, I have no experience with this, with nuclear stuff yet in the game. So I don't know. I can't use experience, you know, to, to tell if that's really good or not, but we have made these. Um, so the normal recipe is 1.85 per minute and it requires radio control units and cooling systems and motors and rubber. This is 2.8 per minute. Requires radio control systems and these electromagnetic control rods, which actually don't look that bad. Those are just AI limiters and stators. Rotors are not a big deal and motors are not too terribly big of a deal. Uh, let's go with this. Okay. Cool. Um, all right, let's move this way. We'll 
we'll grab this yellow slug. And then we have another yellow slug way back down here. I think that's the drive we already got over that way. Die. Man. Tough some a bitch. Some a bitch? Some bitch. Let's go check this cave out. I guess it's not really a cave. Waterfalls off in the distance are cool looking. All right, well, let's just keep heading south again and uncover this dark area, and then we'll go a little back to the west and then back up north again. We're just kind of doing a zigzag pattern here. brings us back to the Titan forest and this southern portion that has these odd trees. Is that? No, that's just the tops of these trees. I thought for a minute there it looked like it may have been a hard drive, but... Go over here. There's there's actually a a decent amount of water in this desert. The only place really that doesn't have any is way out in the dunes, but it's not so far away that it would be a big deal to run a pipeline, you know, or even a train with tanks on it. All right, let's grab this real quick before those guys pop up and cause us trouble. Well, I guess we're not close enough for them to do that. That works too. Those are just little guys.
Okay, so we've already been down there. Let's move this direction. Whoop. There's some Sam ore. Whoa. Was, I was just going to float right off over the other side there. Looks like there's either a sphere or a sloop out in the middle of the pond there. Alright, let's get this yellow slug here. Is an interesting looking biome. Can we grab this before we get hit. Yes. These trees are really cool looking. these ramps is where we okay well that's that big tree so where we had come just to the edge of the dune desert on a much earlier episode but I think that was actually further this way another water spout. Okay. Let's look at the map. There's a little bit of a dark area over here that we haven't uncovered. And there's a yellow slug up in that titan tree. Well, hello there. That guy's way up there. We'd probably have to uh, ramp up to get up there or put a ladder down or something. Cheap silica. That combines limestone and quartz to make 26.25 silica per minute. The normal one only requires quartz and makes 37.5. This one makes 120. Wow. Using bauxite. All oh, right. Yeah, we, we're actually using this recipe. I 
I don't think this is an alternate recipe either. I think this is the main recipe for a luminous solution. Yeah, I believe it is. Okay, yeah, I don't uh, I don't see anything wonderful about that. A Caterium circuit board. We're using the silica circuit board, which I think makes 15 per minute and just requires copper sheeting and silica. So yeah, I'm not I'm not too thrilled about that one. This is alternate electrode aluminous scrap. It makes 300 per minute and requires aluminous solution and petroleum coke. Okay, the normal recipe makes 360 and only requires aluminous solution and normal coal. So yeah, don't see the point. Again, a lot of those recipes are okay for situations where you have byproduct that you need to do something with, but we're not really in that in that situation, at least not at this point, and probably won't be for the rest of this playthrough. Um, let's just look at this. Yeah, see, we make, well, okay, I guess we make 12 and a half per minute, but I mean, this is really easy to use to set up, and I, I've worked, you know, all of my circuit boards production is using this recipe. So, yeah, not a fan of any of these, really, to be honest. So let's re-roll. Uh, but, again, at some point, I, I will start just taking whatever. But I want to still be pick and choose a little bit here. Can we get up to this ledge here? What do we got here? Sounds like it's a sloop or a sphere. Is that the same yellow slug we saw before? on what yeah I, I think it was I think we came up that way and we saw it up here okay we can make it over here. We didn't get uh, quite as much momentum going as I wanted to. Let's get rid of that thing. There's a purple slug. That's the first hard drive we grabbed, so we want to kind of start going this way now. North, but kind of along the cliffs there. And there's a cool looking canyon that goes through that direction. But we'll have to probably hit that on the way back.
Got a little oasis area over here. Decent amount of water. Love those waterfalls. This area kind of reminds me a little bit of the map uh, of Scorched Earth on Ark Survival Evolved. Real pretty. You know, another thing that I wish we could do, uh, again, kind of a survival thing, is I wish we could actually build a house and have, you know, like a lot of the stuff that we have in the hub, like the beds and the stoves and the bathroom and all that. It'd be fun if we could build our own house, you know? Just find a really cool area like this area, for example, and build a house. And just chillax at your house after a long day of working in the factory. That would be fun. Maybe someone will make a mod to do that, or maybe somebody already has made a mod to do that. I don't know. And again, I, I just mean make something like that as a kind of a little fun side thing. I'm not suggesting that this game be turned into a survival game over a factory game but why not why not have it be both you know I hear spiders ah bet you there's spiders in here let's get this ready to go got a couple spitters Those fuckers are. They're probably up high because I don't see them down here. Hmm. This is just really cool, man. <laughs> I love this stuff. It's a yellow slug down there. See, now I'm not hearing the spiders, so I wonder if there's a deeper a deeper area down there where, that they could be in. I see a hog up there, so that means there's something up there. Oh, 
Oh, it's just a sloop. Okay. We're pretty damn high up. Look at that view, though, man. I might make a good screenshot. Here, let's um put that away. Do a shot like there, and maybe one off this way, with the mountain mountains in the background. And maybe one this way. Oh, wow, there's a yellow slug way up on top of that arch. That's funny. I wonder if we could... Get up on top of this before our jetpack runs out. Oh, we're glitching through. Oh, wow, look at that. Crazy. So, well, that area over there is kind of neat. Just looking to see if there's any. We did we did see one hard drive way off over this way. I spotted it, you know, up on a cliff somewhere. Don't remember exactly where. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. Wow, what a view. Okay, let's do this. I mean, because what could possibly go wrong, right? We glitched through this arch. That's what could go wrong. Okay. Um... Well, I think the next thing to do is go after that drive. That's quite the view too, isn't it? Let's do another screenshot. I'm going to have to have a hard time deciding which of these screenshots I'm going to use. That's a pretty cool view also. Nice time for the game to save. There's another geyser or gas node down that way. Oh, can you believe that? We're shy, 20 motors. Son of the bitch. One of those uh, ones we did earlier, though, required a crap ton of motors. All right, we have three slots. 
and I have the ability to consolidate some things. So let's grab the AI limiters. Those are worth grabbing. Heavy modulars always. Well, mostly always. And computers. Bad we didn't have any motors out here. Looks like that's it for the stuff that's worth grabbing. So that's the edge of the northern ocean pulling off into the abyss. We didn't explore this open desert area here, but we've been able to look out into it, so we don't necessarily have to go there just to remove the fog of war, I don't think. Okay, well, we're going to have to mark this drive. So it wants a total of 30 motors. Okay, so... Um, new map marker... We'll just use the usual. I don't. I, I don't know why they don't have a icon for drives. You would think they would do that, you know. Um, okay, this is an H D, and requires thirty motors, not mothers motors. I'm not going to bring 30, 30 mothers to open this thing. So we will have to come back here at a future date to do that. see what this is. Is this a nitrogen deposit? It is indeed. <coughs> Alright, let's go along here. This seems to suggest that there's a ground down there, but I wouldn't trust it. Well, hello. not entirely sure that we can oh yeah I guess there is another ledge over here that's going to be the spire coast up ahead there Nifty. So that's where we are. Why don't we actually just work our way along the coast here? And we have a yellow slug there. Is there anything guarding it? Other than the boulder? It doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, never mind. Shit. And an irradiated bastard, too. All right, 
Let's change to this for him. I don't know how many of those shots were actually hitting him, but he is tough as nails, man. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. He's still irradiated, though. But we have plenty of radiation masks, so we're good. Nope. God damn it. Let's get rid of the pods. There. Okay. 20... Oh, 7. Okay. 27 in total. I was going to say, we got 27 hog remains from that guy. We got 7 from him, which is still pretty good. Anything at all down there? Not really. Yeah, okay, so let's just go along here. See what there is to see. Is that a hard drive down there? Can't tell. Not really sure if it is or not. I hear what sounds kind of like spiders. Oh. Oh, well, actually, I don't know. I don't know what it is. still taking poison from these smaller ones. Ooh, what is down here? Besides, oh! That's one of those big giant spiders. Holy shit! Can, can he jump out of here? That's one of those big green monster things. Come back over here where I can get at you. Wait, did we get him? I don't hear him anymore. We killed him! Ha ha ha! Sucker! So is it just a sloop that's down here? Comply. That's a bit of a screenshot there, too, I'd say. Oh, he just disappeared. All right, well, we got him in the nick of time. Guess that's all that's down here.
We killed him in his den. I just love this, man. Just checking things out and exploring the world. And what a world it is to explore, too, eh? Okay. It's a yellow slug and some bee plants. Uh, all right, let's look at this again. How about if we get up on top of this plateau and get all that uncovered? Enemies all over the place. All right, let's go back to here and get this reloaded. Oh, you're a big boy. Ow. Yellow slug up there. Let's go back over here for a second, though, because we had one down here that I couldn't get immediately. One slot. Okay, looks like there's a purple down there. But we have three bee plants. I'm going to have to make some room here. Let's just get up back up here. All right. Well, I think what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to wrap up this episode. And again, we'll pick up where we left off in the next episode. Um, we still have, we'll, we'll explore this in the next episode and then go down and, and get this area uncovered. I think this is all just ocean out here anyway. And once we uncover this and this area, we're not going to worry about that because we already know that that's just open desert that we have visually seen. I think we can safely say that we've pretty much uncovered the map. These are probably just high areas, I'm guessing, that we haven't, we could go, you know, see if we can 
uncover those too. I mean, look at that. There's a purple slug way up there. So yeah, maybe we'll do that too. But we will have to do that in the next episode. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And um, I don't think I like that recipe. Alternate charcoal. Definitely don't want that one. This one could be good. 112 and a half per minute. What does the normal one do? 60. Uh, yeah, actually, I like that. We're going to take that one. Okay, cool. And that is it for this episode. See ya.